Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm alive. I'm alive. Praise God. Praise God. And so are Liverpool. Even more so. I want to start talking about um, another match real quick before I talk about our game. Um, a lot of us tend to think City is the main rival for the for the title this year. Fair enough. Um, although Arsenal is doing really good right now. But in that mindset of City being the team we, we need to keep from winning it or that we need to top if we're if we're all thinking that Arsenal is just sort of business as usual. I think we play them in a couple weeks before the years are, that's for sure. But um I had a feeling City would drop points today. Um and I say drop points, my hope is that they would lose. Um I definitely thought it would be a loss or a draw. Um Aston Villa right now, probably the hottest team right now in terms of uh just getting results and good play. I mean they just watching at least three or four dudes on their team that I would love to have at Liverpool at some point, if possible. The main one being the captain again. I mean, I don't know if it's the Scottish blood or what, but he's got a little bit of that nail that Robbo has, and I love seeing it. Um, whether it be just knowing how to use his body um, to frustrate opponents, you know, sort of when the game is almost over, or it's an example would be him sort of just being a pest to the goalkeeper on a set piece. You know, things like that. I really love, I can get into Bailey. I can get into Ramsey who didn't even start. Um, his other brother they got, uh, that a lot of Liverpool players wanted, uh, the winger, uh, I forget his name right now, but he didn't even start. Um, you know, the midfielders, Kamara, really impressed with him. Obviously really, really impressed with, uh, is it uh, Diego Luiz in the midfield? And then he got a defender that was given giving um, Great White Hope some trouble today. Um, Diego Carlos, maybe his name is, but look, they got a nice little squad and you know, rightfully so, they deserve to win the day and deserve to be where they are in the top four. That's now another team that I think people need to you know, just be wary of. I won't say concern and say like that, but Aston Villa are a good team and that manager deserves a lot of love over there. Anyway, talking about Liverpool, look, I've always been a kind of supporter that the victories that feel the best to me are the ones where we got to scrape it out. We might not be at our best because it's human nature. That's why it's my favorite. You can't be your best every single day. Nobody can. And, and all the times I feel like we forget we're dealing with humans here. You know, these dudes just got off of a very emotional, um, crazy game, result, fight, comeback, energy. You know, defense, particularly the guys who played, you know, a lot of the minutes, you can see Klopp, very wisely took some of those dudes off today early but you know when you can win a game like this you know you got a goal from your defender and then you get one late to to definitely seal it off with Sabozalai who I think has been a little lackluster lately definitely still showing his signs and his, his quality but hasn't really been at the heights but you know again to keep the clean sheet you know I know that feels good for our keeper who you know came in from for a little bit of a uh, a little bit of um, scrutiny, let's say, uh, for the last game, even though we won. Um, but yeah, yeah, get a clean sheet. And the thing has been sort of quietly kept is defensively, we've been pretty good at this game. Now, when you look at the games and you, as a supporter, and you see certain moments where, you know, a little risky, a little hairy. At the end of the day, we got the best keeper in the world, and our defense has been pretty good. So that's another clean sheet. And I'm just happy that the boys could, could be professional about it. You know, in a game like that, you know, with all due disrespect, Sheffield United is the team you want to be playing after a result like that, where not necessarily you can coast or take it for granted, but get the goal, get, get, your, get the first goal, keep them from scoring. If you get a second one, great, that's a bonus. If not, just get the win. And we did that. So just really proud of the dudes. Good, really happy to see Endo getting a run out, start from the beginning. I think he earned that. Um, and you know, overall, yeah, look, it wasn't one of those games where prime Liverpool, but you're not going to be that every week. I don't need that as a supporter every week. I'm just happy that we are continuing to pile up points during this period where these games come, as they say in the UK, thick and fast, we got to be picking them up and preferably wins, particularly when you got city doing what they're doing. I think that's three or four games in a row now without a victory. So 
you know, again, right now city's fourth. So we can keep them slightly in our rear view, but we gotta just keep getting our points. And the new team to catch for right now is Arsenal. Give them credit, it's where they are right now. They are the top team. They are the team that the other teams around them, us, City, now Aston Villa, not sure. I think Spurs play tomorrow, so they could be back into the conversation a little bit. I don't know how the points look with them and Aston Villa or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's a good win. Um, and it's a win. I don't know if it's good or whatever, but a win is a win. Pleased with that, happy with that. And um, just really feeling happy about our team. It's not good to see dudes, you know, on the injury table. And this could be a serious dent in our league, um, what we're trying to do, but trying to stay positive and just hope that dudes that are banged up, it's a quick turnaround. Hopefully McAllister who went down, he's not gonna be too bad. Um, so, you know, I mean, look, it's part of football. Unfortunately, I feel like this happens way too much. Um, but look, keep fighting. Um, happy to see Gomez playing that fullback spot today. He did pretty well doing it. Um, and yeah, just overall, I just want to keep in mind and remember, maybe just reassure you guys, like when we watch these games individually, yeah, there are moments where we think, ooh, defensively, be it a defensive lapse, be it Trent's maybe lack of defending skills at times, um, the midfield sort of being wide open. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think we want to concede it maybe 11, maybe, maybe, a few, maybe a couple more than 11, but I think we are, at the time before this game, I feel like, I feel like we were joint uh, best defenses with Newcastle, maybe, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even Arsenal um, in terms of conceding goals. So we're doing what we got to do. It doesn't always look great. But again, at the end of the day, you know, if you're not conceding goals, you're not conceding goals. You're giving your chance, the best, giving your team the best chance to win. So um, this is what a season looks like, particularly around this time. We know what it is. All these games come in. We have got to just pick up the wins and it's not going to be easy. But, you know, with this team, with the experience we have, with the quality of players, I'm ultra confident that we'll be able to do it. So that's all for me. Just wanted to come back. It's been a while. I know um, a lot of times it feels like sort of a waste of time. You know, I know people have lives, but it's not really a lot of interaction. So sometimes it feels like I'm just talking to myself, which, you know, it is what it is. I've been doing it this long. So, but here lately, just with life and things going on, um, added on top of just what I just said about um, lack of interaction. It's just been hard to try to find time to do it, even after games, just having other things to do. So, uh, but I'm here tonight, wanted to come on. Um, up the res, man. See you guys soon.